Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today for a month or so of Dino, I'm going to be checking out Dinosaurus for the Game Boy Color, a game that sounds pretty odd. First off, this was never released in North America, they cancelled the port, so it was only ever released in the UK. And it's a side-scrolling platformer with turn-based battles. So I definitely had to check this out. And... oh. Right, I did load this up once to see if it actually worked. <laughs> We're just gonna erase that. <laughs> this is us, the Dinosaurus. Holy shit. I do not remember how big we are. Also, this music is fucking relentless. <laughs> okay, so we have 24 health. That just turns us green. I'm not sure what that button does. It's like a roar button. Like, why would they- oh, shit. <laughs> why would they make the character so large? Can I eat this rat? I can. So, I'm not sure what species we're supposed to be. This kind of chicken-esque dinosaur. So I think 24 might be our maximum health right now. I was like, did I just get in a turn-based battle with a stalactite? All right, we're fighting a stegosaur for some reason. With this very like knockoff Pokemon look. So I guess this is just like shitty Pokemon the battles. <laughs> Iguano gained 16 XP. I wonder then, do we ever get more dinosaurs? We definitely get more health. God damn it, the platforming sucks. You just like don't connect. Alright, so that looked like it gave us the lightning element. Oh my god. You have to like really hit them from the top, otherwise you fall through. A blue stegosaur. So I guess there is elemental damage in this and weaknesses. I killed him, but I got a crit that lowered his attack as well. Do we have stats? We do have stats. Attack, defense, speed, and resistance. So I guess these go up? Or is that... No, the elements are separate on the side there. Oh god, don't tell me this is the only track in the game. It's just too much. <laughs> What is this? It's an angry, disapproving brontosaur with big toes. But like, I have no idea which of my attacks is better because there's no stats on the attacks. Almost like this was an ill-considered knockoff. Also, there was a PC game released alongside this that is, I guess, more like Lemmings? So basically only shares the name. I'm guessing whatever we have the most of is our element. Okay, this guy is gonna be lightning, and we're water. Ugh. 
There we go. Just ignore that completely. Wow, this is awful. <laughs> it's just like the worst mishmash of ideas. Like, yeah, okay, this looks visually like Pokemon, this basic battle screen, but it doesn't have any depth to it. I'm just hitting it because that's all I have. We won a level. We didn't level up, we won a level. We beat that level out of these dinosaurs. Alright, so we have more health now. Like, you notice how nothing even has names? It's just a health bar floating. Even though they have names, like when you kill them here, it tells you. Okay. So you can see right here where my actual hitbox is, and it's like where the thighs are. It just keeps going. Doesn't matter what direction you go in. Okay, we need to go to the woods. I guess. I'd like to point out, too, that we're apparently a baby dinosaur. This giant thing. Also, like that jello in the background. Jello Mountain. See, so yeah, I think we're super effective because we're blue and he's red. And everyone knows that red and blue are each other's eternal enemies. Or we just have a lot of attack now because we leveled up. So I guess we just have to keep going in this direction. Uh, can I do something with this dragonfly? I feel like I can jump off of it. And we just have floating platforms here. Good, the music changed. It's not just one track for the entire game. Can I eat these? <laughs> That's the drowning animation. seem like there's much reason to explore, though, because you're just picking up more of whatever these things are that we don't have a use for yet. Nope. I think this is us. We're now killing our own kind. And we have elements now. I wonder if this just costs whatever mana type it says next to it. Maximum damage. Yeah, so we're an Iguanodon. A omnivorous Iguanodon. So I guess there's a very basic, like, Pokemon type system, but it's just the four elements. And whichever one we pick up enough of, we turn into? I imagine there has to be a way to break these walls. I mean, this is a case, too, where at least by having the really big sprites, they can have pretty detailed sprites, but still. Uh, Ankylosaur. I'm not even sure if we do elemental damage by default, or if that just determines our weakness. 
and we're not fighting any enemies that cast spells yet. You know, dinosaur fireballs and such. Alright, I gotta find the hitbox to land on these. It's not there. I think I can see why this port was cancelled, though, after the first release. Like, yeah, maybe this is not gonna do well. Can I just not stand on those? Those, like, obvious floating platforms? Nope. Maybe there's a very precise spot I need to stand to land on them, but I just don't care enough to try. if we could use spells to, like, open the walls and stuff, but I, we don't have a menu for that. Alright, so we're here. I wonder if we're going to have to fight a boss. It's weird because you don't actually, like, seem to get any penalty for falling like that. You just have to start the area over. What, what is this? Who is this boy? This big old sail. No, it doesn't tell us because we didn't get a crit. Okay, that wasn't a boss, that was just a local. This is a raptor with very thick thighs. This is also like the most basic platforming. Like we're very much not doing anything beyond jumping here. I think I'll ever learn a new attack, or am I just supposed to use elements? Okay, this sounds like boss music. Therizinosaurus! Man, he's also like Bob. <laughs> Look at those arms. Well, I guess I'll cast a uh, uh, ice on you. That did not really affect him, so clearly ice is not the opposite of fire. Okay, so he's weak against lightning. And I'm going to die. Iguano perished. I was like, is this just going to start me back on the same screen? So do I have to grind? Like, I could have cast, I guess, stone skin. Which would have made me a little more defensible. Maybe I wanted to switch types. Rather than being like opposites, it does seem like the elements are just a, you know, a circle of weakness, so... Fire is at the top, so it's weak against lightning, which is at the bottom. Which means... I, do I want to be lightning in order to have resistance? Or do I just want to not be... Fire? Or no, wait. I don't know what fire is good against. What are our elements here? Okay, we got fire, water, earth, and lightning. So, I guess... Ice is weak against fire. And earth is weak against water, and... Lightning is weak against earth. So we just want to be anything that isn't ice when we fight him.
I don't even know if you can save in this game. I'm realizing that there's no, like, save option. Maybe we should get another level here. Oh, I could have seen what that was if the name popped up for a second there. Well, you guys will probably see it. Figuring out what the hell that was supposed to be. <laughs> I'm pretty much just grinding by mashing a button now. Because you do seem to get significantly more powerful with a level up. I have a lot of lightning MP, so maybe I should pick some of that up, too. Like, what a weird set of game concepts to combine. Ow. I have no idea how to get down there. There's just a wall in the way. Is there, like, a platform I can try that isn't... So difficult to land on. <laughs> yep, right in the spikes. Now they really get weaker screen by screen. Okay, I think there was another platform back here. Oh no, it's up there. If only I knew how to land on those platforms. I could probably collect so much more mana. Oh. Or it doesn't respawn? Like, I'm honestly wondering if there's actual abilities you get beyond just combat abilities. Because some of these, like, elements are floating in the water. So I was like, oh, can I just switch to blue? But I don't think that's enough. get out of the wacky music zone. There's even fish down there. So maybe... Damn it. Maybe if we did switch to blue, we'd be able to swim in that. Fucking shit. Or if we had another dinosaur. That's the other thing. Because this screen right here implies that we can have quite a few. Maybe it's a case where the bosses join you after you beat them. This platform, though, annoys the hell out of me that I can't land on it. Still didn't get a level up. I think these guys are too weak now. Also, having to just stop for each of these sticks is really lame. Let's strategize. We're gonna use Stone Skin, which I hope will give me a defense buff. Unfortunately, we are also slower than him.
Okay, we're out of MP. I guess MP is the little purple amulets. Alright, seems like they want me to do a lot more grinding than I'm actually willing to do to beat this guy, because he goes first, and he does way more damage than I do. I hate this platform. Just by its existence, I hate it, because it doesn't work. So, if the actual MP value is just these things, then what do the elements do at all? Do they just unlock more attacks? Of course. Everything else, my hitbox is way smaller than it looks, but for these falling sticks, if they touch your tail, it still counts as a hit. Or maybe the elements really do just decide what attacks you have available. And, like, you have to be a certain color to use the level 2 version. Oh, we fell into hell. It still seems like we can freely explore the map. So maybe we can find tougher baddies down here. Also, I seem to have turned black. What is this dragon fellow? Is this an Amargosaurus? We'll never know. Okay, now where am I? I'm apparently now at the bottom of the map. Oh, I got farted on by the mountain. And now there's snot rolling downhill. <laughs> I can't pick up any more fire. I got too much fire, Corbin. Get out of here, small lizard. Okay, we can actually connect with these platforms. Uh, what? I didn't even think that was a thing, I just pressed down because I was going to try to, like, crouch on this. Okay, we have another platform here. It's blue, so I'm wondering if I can only interact with it if I'm blue. If they're actually elemental platforms, and that's why I couldn't use the other ones, because it wasn't red. See, I don't have any, like, attack in this screen, so I can't do anything to, like, break these walls. Alright, there, we leveled up. Those look way more intimidating than they actually are. I seem to be full up on water juice as well. Yeah, that wasn't a Marco. So at this point, how do I switch elements? Oh, what are you? Slim boy. We'll never know.
Also, since there's no, like, PP or anything, it also makes it harder to determine if any attack is stronger than the other, because we can use either of them as many times as we want. Okay. More caves. Leading to the ocean. So I guess this is the idea, is you're gonna go around, you're gonna change your element, and then go back to where you know you can use it. I can't eat that by looking up. A small lizard approaches you. I'm gonna die of environmental hazards here. Nope, never mind, I'm gonna die of being in battle. See, I was thinking that Life Spring here does actually heal me. God damn it. <laughs> Again, the hitboxes for those things are so much bigger than, like, my landing hitbox. If that boulder touches your snout, you're taking a hit. Ooh, what is this? Well, it's hella dead is what it is. Gonna wait for this boulder. Enemies on this mountain do give you decent XP. Well, shit. No. Ah. I should have just jumped forward. I would have maybe made it to the edge of the screen. Like, the boulders are timed in such a way that there's always a steam vent after the boulder goes by. so I can't just rush past. It's funny, though, that I have to get into battles to heal myself. Son of a bitch. This is the place where I feel most unwieldy. I also just want to get to these these uh, platforms while I still have this color so I can test my theory. All right, now I cast myself into the lava. There's a purple platform here. I don't know if that means I can use it because I am red, but there's no purple color, so... <laughs> that face. So you're telling me I gotta walk all the way down here to get off this mountain, I have to jump up on these platforms. And landed on a steam vent. Well, at least there's a mushroom up here. Okay, 
Okay, I need to get back to the forest zone. And that heals you fully doing that. I'm just gonna assume that that purple color is actually blue. Okay, now how do I get out of here? I need to go up. But I can't go up. Out of my way, I'm trying to figure out Dinosaurus. <laughs> I don't have time for battles. So yeah, this is definitely not a game we're going to be coming back to <laughs> at any point. But it was definitely the kind of oddity that I had to check out at least. Did that say Amarga Kissed? God damn it. Friggin' chunky iguanodon keeps falling down these small gaps. I want to at least find out if my theory about the Therizino joining us is right or not. Okay. I don't think we can get in here without someone smaller. It does actually seem significantly difficult to escape this place. Good. Killed me with a fucking boulder. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time, and if I die or fall, then <laughs> we're done with dinosaurs. I will see if I can try to find the, the PC one, but even this game is pretty obscure in its main release. So that might actually prove difficult. As I go through more and more of my list of dinosaur games, I have to kind of go more and more obscure because I'm running out of games. Well, running out's probably not the right word. I won't get through my whole list this year, I know that. But they're definitely not producing dinosaur games faster than I cover them year by year. <laughs> Alright. We'll never know what happens when we defeat the Therizinosaurus. He is too buff for us. Even though we could probably beat him now if I could ever get out of this hell. But we're trapped here, so, you know, sad Iguanodon is what we're gonna say goodnight on. Thank you folks for joining me for another month or so of Dino First Impressions, and I do have a few more obscure games to dig through before the end of the season. I was gonna say month, but it's more of a season, I guess. Anyhow, you folks all take care.